What's good people, welcome back to the video. Today, it's Christmas day, technically, for anyone watching this, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. This is going up on Christmas day. I plan to have a far more extravagant Christmas day video planned, but I've just been so busy. I think you underestimate how much shit there is to do on Christmas. So I'm getting this in. We're doing Remember You by Wiz Khalifa and The Weeknd. I just felt like we needed to do a weekend video, man. I mean, we're nearly in 2021. I've been doing this shit for six months now. XO family have always held me down ever since like the first ever weekend video. We checked out Wicked Games. I think it was in like June, maybe, which is just crazy, man. You know, it's absolutely crazy, to be honest with you, that we got to this point. I just, I was thinking about what track to check out, and obviously there's not a lot of weekend left for me to check out, really, but I know there's some still some features and shit. Uh, I'm also gonna take this opportunity to say, put any more weekend that I haven't heard in the comments below, because it helps me out mad, because I've been asking around people that have watched my videos that are weekend fans to tell me, because there's not that much left, but. Of course, before we jump into it, guys, I just want to thank everybody for the last six months. It's been just insane, man. And just a Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all stay safe. I know it's a difficult time at the moment. And uh, it's going to be a weird Christmas, man. But 2021, hopefully, is going to be far better. We're going to make some moves, man. We're going to hit some milestones. I'm just really excited, man. I hope you guys can just buckle in, man, for this journey we're going to have. I'm just, I'm gassed, bro. I'm gassed. I'm feeling good. It's Christmas. Let's get it. Before we jump into it, guys, if you're new around here, please just drop a sub. We're on the road to 5K. We're trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. And of course, drop a like in the comment of the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's just get into this, man. Let's just get into this, bro. I'm excited. Also, I want to mention, haven't checked out any Wiz on the channel. Relatively big Wiz fan. I think he's dope. So I'm excited to hear these two. Let's jump into it. Sleeves are up. Okay. I just, you know, I can just imagine how they're going to come in on this, especially Abel. She's about to earn some bragging rights. I'm about to give it up like I've been holding back all night. Girl, take pride in what you want to do. Even if that means a new man every night inside of you. Well, baby, I don't mind. You just know like what version of Able this is. This has got to be early days. I didn't even check when this came out. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, but you can just you know I'm just just giving me just just giving me early 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 like trilogy House of Balloons. Just the way he's articulating his words and just the stuff he's saying as well. It's just like vintage Able, vintage Able. You can tell by how I roll. Cause my click hot on my cup, oh my toes look, I'm so thrown. I'm whipping sweat from my last show. He's CG and I'm like, so I'm only here hey. for. If we're gonna talk about the lyrics, this track's called Remember You. He's just saying you like I, I want I want you to, to make me remember you. He's basically just talking about being with a lady, being with a woman. And uh, just just having a night to remember, I suppose, is, is what I'm getting from it so far. Like I said, man, it's just vintage weekend, bro, and I'm here for it, man. What a lovely track to check out uh, for this for this for this little occasion called Christmas, man. Like you remember me, bad bitch girl. I think I might get kissed here. Yeah. I might have to take a number when I'm through with ya. All I ask of you is try to earn my memory, make me remember you, like you remember. Oh. Rapping ass, like years past the class. Hey. Hit it, don't have to pass. Nigga, we the new aftermath. Niggas after fame, I just have to laugh. Niggas after fame, I'm after cash. Use a fan, I'm a player. I'm the man, use a hater. Interesting, man. And I only smoke papers. So you tell that I'm Taylor. So it's slow and spaced out. Listen, break it down, roll the weed on the island of my kitchen. And now the thing goes down without permission. Look. Everything I got on I was made for Everything that I got out and came for All the shit that you see I done slave for mm. All the cars in the crib yeah that's paid for Need I say more? Spend so much money on clothes That fucking store making my own I hope that you all on one up while you singing alone 
and no, I was rolling when well I was making the sound. It's interesting. He's like, it's like, I don't know how I feel about it necessarily, to be honest with you. This is sort of like, a, this is sort of a bad time to sort of start criticizing a song. Uh, I think, I think Abel killed it, but I'm not so sure about about Wizzy in this bag, in my personal opinion. I don't like how sort of spaced out the verses, and I feel like not a lot of what he's saying is is hitting with me. And I don't know whether that is because it's so spaced out. I think when you space something out intentionally. It's supposed to have a bit more impact, but it's not necessarily having that for me uh, right now. I don't know because the beat's cool. I just feel like maybe could have approached it in a slightly different way. But then again, I feel like this beat does sound like it's sort of made for the weekend and not so much for Wiz, even though it's Wiz's track. But I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna get back into it. You never know. We're only halfway through. You're taking too long. Young and I'm rich, and plus all of my friends on that Bombay and Lemonade. I'm chillin', I'm movin' slow, mm. I'm driving fast, I hit the weed, you take the wheel, we lose control. Drop the top on that 69, that motor war and that old Chevelle, can't say a thing, it's how you supposed to feel. feel. Okay. Stacking all of this paper, dog. I like to call the shit old news. And these haters this, talking about old angle. moves. Poppin' champagne cause we made it. Back of the phantom, we faded. All of the shit that I did, I probably won't remember tomorrow. Production wise, I'm loving how slight it feels. Man. I'm through with you. All I ask of you is to earn my memory. Make me remember you. Like you remember me. Bad bitch girl, I think I'm a gay kissy. Love the drum pattern. I'm taking number when I'm through with you. All I ask of you is to earn my memory. Make me remember you. Like you remember me. Okay guys, that was Remember You by Wiz Khalifa featuring The Weeknd. I enjoyed that, man. I think that was, again, oh, I hate to be negative in any way, shape or form, but again, again, I think that was a prime example of The Weeknd sort of slightly bossing a track. It did sound like it was The Weeknd's song though. And I find that so much with features, like whether The Weeknd, whether The Weeknd produces, produces the tracks or whether he gives tracks to other people and then they use them because they're that good. I'm not entirely sure. You can let me know in the comments below. Uh, I thought Wiz sounded all right. It just wasn't particularly memorable and I just wasn't, I don't know. I just feel like he, he didn't he didn't really maneuver well with the with the production and the beat, in my personal opinion. Um, whereas the weekend I think did, and I think that's probably why I think the weekend sounded better was just simply because the beat felt more molded to him. Maybe that was intentional. I'm not entirely sure, but overall I thought it was cool. The whole vibe of remember you, yeah. I was just getting that you know he's spending a night with with a woman, spending a night with a lady, and um, and she's got to do something to sort of make him remember you, basically. I don't think it was much more complex than that, to be honest with you. Like I said, I don't think Wiz said anything. I'm not expecting too much substance, obviously, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't seem particularly memorable, to be honest with you. But it was an okay track. Thank you to, uh, thank you to Giovanni, actually. My guy Giovanni. Merry Christmas, bro. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, I don't know. Thank you for this request. Yeah, man, it was cool. Anyway, guys, Merry Christmas. If you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoy myself, point you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. If you have any requests for any Wiz Khalifa, The Weeknd, anyone else, chuck in the comments below. For the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie. Have an amazing, safe, awesome Christmas. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next one.